Hackers working for Vladimir Putin may have attempted even more meddling with the U.S. presidential election than we knew, and the interference went beyond leaked emails and fake news. According to a report from the National Security Agency, Russian military intelligence was trying to break into U.S. election systems just days before voters went to the polls. Our Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues has the details. According to the top secret NSA report first published on the website The Intercept, hackers from Russian military intelligence were trying to access voter registration information just days before the election. The hackers stole user credentials from a U.S. election software company in Florida. They then used those credentials to send fake emails to 122 local government officials probably involved in the management of voter registration systems. Those emails were sent just over a week before the November 8th election and were laced with malware. The report says the viruses tried to access election-related hardware and software applications. Access to voter registration records could have allowed the hackers to delete or change voter information. What was your initial reaction? Shock <laughs> and um, dismay. The report's description is similar to what we heard last year from Arizona Secretary of State Michelle Reagan. She learned in June that Russian hackers had been probing her state's voter information. The feeling of um, and the reality of a foreign entity, an outside um, intruders, if you will, coming into um, our state and wanting to, to mess with our election system. Russian President Vladimir Putin has consistently denied any government involvement in the hacks. But last week, he did suggest private Russian hackers who are, in his words, patriotically minded, could have participated. Despite this new information, U.S. intelligence stands by its assessment that the attacks did not impact the election's outcome. Scott, in a sign that the administration is cracking down on national security leaks like this one, a contractor today was charged with leaking classified information. Jeff Pegues from the Washington Newsroom. Jeff, thank you.